New York City Medical Examiner says that further tests are needed to pinpoint the cause of Joan Rivers' death. Meanwhile, the world continues to show an outpouring of support honoring the comedy legend's memory. With Joan Rivers fans leaving flowers and cards in the doorstep of her New York City home, her daughter Melissa said this about the outpouring of support. Humbling. Today, Joy Behar, a fellow comedian and close friend of the 81-year-old, also reflected on her life. She was a great role model. It's like, just go out there and say whatever and be funny and don't worry if the men don't think you're sexy, if they don't like it. Too bad. Rivers suffered a heart attack last Thursday while undergoing an endoscopy out of concern for a raspiness in her voice. She died just one week later. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office and the State Health Department are both investigating the circumstances surrounding her death, which have raised questions in the medical community. Most vocal cord procedures are done uh, in a hospital under general anesthesia or ambulatory surgery center. In a short space of time, the world of comedy has lost two of its legends. It's on the heels of Robin Williams, it's a devastating blow to Hollywood and the entertainment industry and certainly comedy at large. While it might be difficult right now, Melissa said of her mom in a statement, I know her final wish would be that we return to laughing soon. And in River's latest book, I Hate Everyone Starting With Me, she describes the hilarious funeral that she wanted. I want Meryl Streep crying in five different accents. I want a wind machine so strong that even in the casket, my hair will be blowing more than Beyonce's on stage. Private funeral services for Rivers will be held at Temple Emmanuel in Manhattan. We will have a look at headlines making news in Hudson Valley when we return.